Football and betting is an addictive combination in Uganda. In just a few years, betting shops have become a feature of cities, towns and villages across the country, with more and more willing to have a flutter. I win, I lose, I win, I lose, so I don't know exactly if they have eaten me or have eaten them. I still don't know exactly, but I think I've eaten them. In Kampala, there are hundreds of betting shops and people are increasingly gambling online thanks to the ubiquity of smartphones that enable web and app-based bets. In 2016, the government established a national gaming board in an attempt to regulate the exploding industry. We know very well that most of the youth love sports, especially the male youth. They love football. So they all place bets on their favorite teams, especially out of the premiership. Now, because they've done that a lot, they have even moved to other unknown leagues like the Chinese league, not even only the first division, but they play on the second and the third. The growth of the industry is also creating new jobs. Ivan Kalenzi runs his sports betting consultancy from his sports clothes shop in one of the malls. He has clients from all over the world, but has seen many gamble their lives away. For the last five years, I've been meeting people with so many different problems, fees, people are losing houses because of gambling, People are losing out on families because of gambling. People are in too much debt because of gambling. So there are many, many problems associated with gambling. Innocent has been gambling for six years, but thinks he will eventually stop. I don't advise family people, actual people who are having family, who are married, to do this betting all the time. Because sometimes it takes you, but, but for me, I'm still not married. The day when I get married, I might stop. For many others, it may not be so easy. And with Uganda's high unemployment rate, the lure of an easy win risks dragging more into dangerous debt.